Today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo. In today's video, we are seeing if we can dry a shirt in a vacuum chamber. Will it work or will it stay the same? Not too long ago, I very cleverly put my phone in water, not just like in the sink, and fortunately not in the toilet, but I was gathering stuff off my bed to put in the washing machine, and I gathered my phone up right along with it, and I was just like, 20 minutes later, I was like, where did I put my phone? I used Messenger to have my friend try and call me, and he said they just went straight to voicemail, so I was like, what if? And I went down to the washing machine, dug my arm in, found my phone. Now, my phone is mostly waterproof, but a washing machine's really pushing those limits. I think it was even tumbling around in there for a bit. So some aspects weren't working. Uh, the headphone jack, some of the speakers and microphones, I think they're clogged up with water. Here's the basic idea. We have a shirt, we have water, and we have a vacuum chamber. In the past, Nate has actually saved his phone from water in a vacuum chamber. We're gonna see if we can pull the water out of a wet shirt. I've had a vacuum chamber for longer than I've been on this channel or been doing YouTube. I use it for resin casting. I thought, I'll try this and see if it works. So I put my phone in my chamber, turned it on, and after it hit full vacuum, I left it there for about 10 minutes. And then when I took it out, everything seemed like it was working again. Like the mic was working, the speakers were all sounding good, and it no longer thought I had headphones plugged in. I posted about that on Instagram, and a lot of people suggested other things to try in a vacuum chamber. The number one seemed to be seeing if you could use a vacuum chamber just as a dryer. Can you dry clothing with a vacuum? So today we're gonna do some tests with that. We have here a cup of water. It has some lovely blue food coloring in it just to make it look nicer. This is just a demonstration to see if we can get this to boil. And this is normal room temperature. It was in a bottle of water that's been sitting in a closet. It's about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're just gonna start pulling low pressure, see if we can get down to a vacuum and see if we can get that water to boil. Right. That should happen around where the needle hits 26 to 27. It depends. I think our meter has become slightly uncalibrated, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, now you can see a little bit of cloudiness in the chamber. That's all the water vapor that's already in there, just condensing from the lower pressure. Oh, we've already got some bubbles coming up, little ones. All of the gas that was just barely dissolved in that water, I think. Up to about 25 inches of mercury, according to this gauge. Yeah, we've definitely got bigger bubbles now. And so, yeah, there we go. We're pretty much hitting the point of a rolling boil. Normally, at pressure at sea level, you need to get this water up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius to get this effect. Well, I think we have pretty much well demonstrated that it boils. We can get the water to bubble, bubble, boil. So we have a gray t-shirt and people wanted to see if you yep. could use this to dry cloth. And I'll be honest, I have no idea. I suspect eventually it will work, but eventually it would dry out just sitting on the counter. Eventually, most things will dry. <laughs> just left out. So here is the plan. We are going to take this water, try and get about half this shirt wet, and then we're gonna put it in the vacuum chamber and we're just gonna leave the vacuum chamber running. After half an hour, will it have changed or will it just look exactly the same? Now we've got the t-shirt sitting in the vacuum chamber right now. We're gonna get that some time to dry, but while we're doing that, we wanna to talk to you really quick about something cool we got in the mail. Now these boxes are from a company called KiwiCo. Now we have done a few sponsored videos for KiwiCo in the past and we are always really excited to see what they send us because it's always going to be something awesome. KiwiCo is a subscription box company that sends out STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math projects that really challenge you in a fun and creative way. For example, the boxes they sent to us this time are a hydraulic claw and a spin art set. Spin art set. They come with everything that you need to build a project, so you don't have to spend any time running to the store or buying extra parts. The kits also make for great gifts, so if it's not exactly your thing yourself, you can get them for your kids, your friends, your siblings, grandkids, whoever. So let's open these up and see what they can do. This is the first time I beat Nate in building one of these, but I put together a breadboard, he did that. 
Anyways, I have made a spin art machine. The idea for this one is really cool. The box itself is part of it, so you can store it. So when I close the whole thing, super easy, just go put it on a shelf. You wanna do some spin art, you open it up, you put a piece of paper inside, we've already got that there. Close that again, turn on the machine. Piece of paper is spinning, got all of our paint. I made spin art. Hope nobody needed the fridge. <laughs> yeah! Claw hand, claw hand, claw hand. Guys, this is freaking awesome. I really like these kits. Hi, buddy. Let's shake. So if you want to get your own KiwiCo subscription box, go ahead and click the link in the description or go to kiwico.com slash T-K-O-R and they've got a special going for our viewers. If you sign up using our code, you will get your first box for free. So go ahead, click down on the link and get started today. Looking at about an hour and 15 minutes of mostly under vacuum. Occasionally we turned it off and it did gain some pressure back where we would turn it back on. Most of the time the vacuum pump's actually been on. It's getting very hot at this point. Our shirt does not look dry. It may look a little bit drier, but, but any shirt would after an hour. Hour and 15 minutes, you could put it in the tumble dry, like in the dryer with no heat whatsoever, just air cool current. air, it would definitely be dry. So maybe it's drying it out a little, it's drying it out very slowly. We do have an alternative bizarre drying method plan. Ha! Let's see. First off, smells like oil. Gross. Yep. Oh, nothing. It Nothing happened. Cold. There's like a line where mm -hmm. it's slightly lighter. I can't actually tell just from I my think eyes that's if just this part's soaking lighter. In. Yeah, this is where Here, it got wet and it's been that. spreading over that line. Yeah. So did we boil water away enough to dry it off? I, no. I don't think we did very hard, well. Hard no on that. At least not in this amount of time. I'm not saying it would never work, but it's not working quickly. In the meantime, we have another thing to test. What we are going to do is try to get phones wet and see if we can bring them back using a vacuum chamber and rice. So I said that this idea came from when I had to save my phone after it got wet. We're going to try and replicate that. Um, I'm not gonna get my phone wet again, but we do have these super high quality phones from Walmart. Uh, they're like less than $30 each. And I'm assuming that guarantees they will not be completely waterproof. So we're just going to put them in water and see if they stop working. And then as soon as one or both stop working, we'll take them out and we'll see if we can dry it off in the vacuum chamber. I don't think that a $26 phone Did you comes check waterproof. Me? I, no, but you usually have to pay more for that. Did you check? Well, I can tell you it doesn't say waterproof on the packaging. All right. I'm just gonna take You the, broke it, what are no, you this doing? this is, the back comes off oh. and that's how you put the battery in. I'm just gonna. Really? Kind of turned off as soon as I took the back off. Maybe it doesn't like that. Or maybe it just now got wet really easily. That one's just special. What is happening right now? These phones are surprisingly durable, I think is what's happening. Where's a hammer? <laughs> That's not water damage. The screen is flickering. Like just looking at it, the screen is flickering. That's a good sign that something bad is happening. It is reading being underwater as some form of like contact. It thinks I'm like long pressing the screen. That's freaking out big time. All right, we're gonna take this out now because it is clearly freaking out a lot. Hooray, we broke stuff. <laughs> gonna set just like that. that. Did you dry it off? I dried it off with paper towel about as best as I could. Do you want me to pour some water in there? Nope. <laughs> All right, and as soon as that hits full, we're gonna start a timer for like cool. 10, 15 minutes. There you go. You know, I didn't actually mean to make that big of a mess. Cool, let's fry some eggs. All right, this has been in here for 15 minutes. The vacuum chamber was running. I just okay. plugged it all up to stop it. We're gonna let the pressure back in. There were like drips and drops of water at the bottom of the glass and those disappeared entirely, which is really encouraging to me because that was probably larger quantities of water than whatever was stuck in the phone. Ooh, Wait. we got something happening to the screen here. I think this is just condensation on the front of the screen, but let's find out. I think that's just on the front. Power, we have power. power. Power's good. I can't speak as to all the functionality, but the touch screen, which I believe is what was wrong with this one, is working just fine. Touch screen, text messaging, which I haven't actually texted anything, so it's not gonna work great. I would say that this phone appears to be in 
excellent working condition at the moment. The rice, which I thought was supposed to take like a lot longer, seems to have helped. The vacuum chamber seems to have helped as well. Oh, is lots your, of screen flickering yours? problem. No, my screen's still okay. Vacuum chamber, it works better. That was the rice, still having problems. Yeah, so if you drop your phone in the water real quick, go get a big glass jar, make some proto putty, get a uh, air uh, pump, a, a vacuum pump. Yeah, if you happen to have a vacuum chamber, awesome. If you don't, I mean, rice is probably better than nothing. I'm not sure if that's been still conclusively on. proven, but vacuum chamber definitely worked quickly and pretty well. Thanks again to the sponsor for today's video, KiwiCo. Go ahead and click the link down in the description or go to kiwico.com slash TKOR to get signed up and to get your first box for free today. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.